What's up guys, I am back with another unboxing and it's going to be one of the premier Ryzen motherboards, the MSI Titanium, full name the X370 X Power Gaming Titanium, way too many words. Okay, so before we get into the motherboard, let's dive into the accessories. So starting off, we have got a MSI gaming case badge. Personally, I put this on my car and on keychains. And then we have got a CD, but you should always go on the website to download the latest drivers and software. And then a brief notice here, it will tell you how to get rid of the pre-installed bracket for uh, heat sinks. And on the other side, It'll tell you the proper orientation for your RAM. So if you're having issues with your memory, you probably want to uh, make sure they're in the right slots first. And then here we have a user's guide. It's got a lot of pages it's because it covers it in a lot of different languages. So if you have any questions, it's probably going to be answered in there. Then here we have a two-sided poster. On one side, it's gaming. And then on the other, it's a cheat sheet for your uh, specifications and it's also a really good place to look to properly uh, plug in your front panel IO so that's a great uh, reference for that then the last thing on this side is a SLI bridge so you can have two Nvidia cards in SLI and then three AMD cards in Crossfire and starting off on the right side, you have got these labels to label your, your cables however which way you want. So you can organize them that way. Alright, so then you'll see you have six SATA cables. There you go. And they do match the motherboard's color. So if you're like me and forgot to order custom sleeve SATA cables, these will do just fine. And as you can see, there's one right angle connector and then one straight. But on the other side, this one will have two straight connectors. And they're all the same thing. So you've got three sets of each. And then you'll have the rear I.O. panel. So it's just a plain black and white, so that will match pretty nice. Then you've got to register your product online sheet and a quick installation guide. The last thing is an extension cable. So if you have RGB, LEDs and whatnot, this will extend it so you can route it through many different areas of your case. And that's it for the accessories. So now let's get onto the motherboard. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. If you like the content, leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback or tips, leave that in the comments below. And stay tuned for my $2,500 desktop featuring some of the parts that you saw in this video. And have a great day.